Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, it's time for the Ambernic Retro Game 350p or known as the RG 350p. So this is the handheld that I was waiting for or better said asking for in the beginning when I was reviewing this Retro Game 350. Because finally we're having an affordable good Retro Game 350 with a lot of big improvements and the D-pad is on the right position. Okay, so let's take a close look at it in the box and let's have some fun. Okay, let's take a close look inside. I must say the packaging of Ember Deca are always very good. The system itself, and I must say the design, I am a big fan of the Retro Game 350. Let's talk about it later. So we're also going to get a USB cable, a very long one for charging and data transfer. And we're having not one, but we're having two manuals. And yeah, it's more like a quick start guide. And I must say they're extra kudos for the guys because nowadays we are going to get some pretty decent manuals with some explanation how the system works and what are all the key functions but that's what we're going to talk about also in this video so let's put everything in the box and let's talk about the handheld itself if you're looking at the 350p and the original retro game 350 oh man i wish they did it just the first time and what do we mean with the first time why didn't they make it like this in the first place i really love the d-pad on this position because i am a d-pad fan and i'm always playing the most of the retro games with the d-pad the analog stick are also improved with an ABXY select start and there are many new improvements if you look with the old comparison with the 350. The D-pad is not the best D-pad I have played with but the travel is quite long but then the touch is very nice. The analog stick is also improved now we're having more like this Nintendo Switch lookalike joystick with the click. We're having two analog sticks and personally I don't like the position of both of them. I rather have just one joystick at the left or none at all. On the top we're having four shoulder buttons, two Type-C ports, an HDMI out and a headphone out. Okay, so at the bottom we're having two CF cards, one for the firmware, the other one is for just storage. And we're having two speakers and these sound pretty amazing. And at the back we're having uh, two rubber strips. I really like it because if you want to put it on the table it won't just slide away. Some extra information about the model and it comes with a 2500 milliamp battery. At the right side we're having the on and off switch. You need to hold a couple of seconds for booting it up. And at the left we're having volume control. And what I completely missed out to tell you that we're having the reset button and that's something that's very convenient because sometimes you just need it if something freezes or you just want to go out of the game very quickly. It will reboot the system fully and that is something that's pretty awesome. I really love the reset button. What I really love about the 350p model is that it has the new generation of IPS displays inside and these are beautiful and very vibrant of the colors. And not to forget the view angle is just very good and that is something that I make this game experience way better. But let's talk about what can we do with this system. The Embernic Retro Game 350p gives us the possibility to play emulators. So you need to think about from the DOS up to PlayStation 1. We even have options like Play Open Board, that is a freeware version where you can create your own beat em up game. A lot of great stuff to find. Then we're having the games itself. This is basically homebrew games. You need to think about Quake 1. Um, yeah, let's say Open Jazz, Open Terraria, Street of Rage Remake. There are so many things that are just so awesome if it comes to the homebrew games. We're having here the settings where you can mess around with the system, applications for Explorer, and for example, if you want to do a Red Game 350 testing, and all kinds such such kind of things you can find with the Red Game 350. Nevertheless, it's really cool, and there are a lot of stuff we can do with it.
but should you buy an Embernic 350 or a Retro Game 350? That is something you need to decide for yourself. So in general, if you're having the 350, I think this version, the P version, is an upgrade simply because they moved everything around and just basically made better joysticks. They give us a D-pad on the right position. As I think that is pretty awesome. For the performance, it will not be in a big increase. So there are some minor changes what they done with the 350. If you want to do the best, the metal version, I love it. But if you own this one, then P is not something you don't want to buy. Simply because it has no use in my opinion. The 350, I like it for what it is. And it's basically for the people who just want to have a 350 or a metal version in a cheaper shell. This is what you're going to get. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell. It would be great to have you in a big family. And I will see you in the next video.